If we have a controlled approach, the process will make the result automatic. As we move around to the lingual surface, the critical area on the lingual surface requires not only the reduction requirements of 1 to 1.5 millimeters, but a concavity so that the appropriate angle of guidance can be developed in the final restoration. The term epithelial attachment has been changed and is now called the junctional epithelium. The normal crest, which is a 3 millimeter measurement from the crest of the bone to the free gingival margin. There are certain parameters that are absolutely critical as we begin to try to understand the cervical limitations of tooth preparation. We recognize that we must not be more apical than the base of the sulcus. But now we also recognize the base of the sulcus we can't find clinically. We're also aware that we must mimic the scallop of the biologic width. Once we've prepared the facial cervical limitations, at that point, if you prefer, you can use retraction cord around the remaining part of the tooth and now place it on the facial. The final preparations of anterior teeth should look relatively like this, about a half to one millimeter below the free gingival margin rounded line angles, crisp external finish line, the appropriate amount of reduction facially. In other words, it's very important that the burr be held vertically in the face. Even if the tooth is slightly tipped to the facial or to the lingual, the burr must be held vertically. Also remember, the cervical plane of the tooth is at a different inclination